Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import CSV or JSON file in Postman using Newman CLI to do your data-driven testing. So let's get started. All right, welcome back. So this video is a follow-up video of the last two videos that I created on importing CSV and JSON data file to do data-driven testing in Postman. Now, if you haven't seen those videos, make sure to check it out as this one is going to be a follow-up videos on that and you're gonna get better understanding of what we're gonna be covering in this video. I will add the links for those videos in the description below. All right, so we're gonna start off with importing CSV file using Newman CLI, so let's do that. So right over here, I'm on Postman, and this is the request that we used when we were working with importing CSV file. So I'm gonna continue with the exact same thing. So the first thing you need to do is export your collection. So over here, I'm gonna click on this three dots, and then I'm gonna do export which is right here. And then I'm going to export the recommended version. And in this case, I'm going to select the folder where I wanted to export it. All right, so I've exported that collection. Now I'm going to open up my terminal. So in my terminal, I'm going to go to the folder where I have exported the collection. So in my case, I'm in downloads and I know I need to go to the Postman folder as that's where I have exported the collection. All right. So here we have to run our Newman command. So for that, you need to make sure that you have Newman installed on your machine. In my case, I'm gonna do Newman-V to actually print out the version. And if it prints out the version for you, that means you have Newman installed. If it is not installed, then you have to make sure that you install Newman. And you can do that by doing npm install Newman-G. Dash G will be used to install it globally on your machine. All right, so once you have installed Newman, then you can go ahead and try to run your collection. So let's do that. I'm gonna do Newman run, and my collection name is JSON placeholder.postman.collection.json. So I'm gonna hit enter and see what results we're gonna get back. All right, so it ran our collection, and you can see there was only one iteration that was ran, which was over here, and then my test failed because the assertion did not really succeed. One of the assertion worked, which was the status code, status code is 201, so that one worked. However, the one where I wanted to assert my title and body, which is basically where we're actually asserting it based on the CSV file, has failed. And that makes sense because I did not tell my Newman where my CSV file is located. So let's do that. So I'm going to clear this out. And I'm going to run that command again. But this time, instead of just running my collection, I'm also going to tell that, hey, I want to run a iteration data file, or basically use some kind of data file to run with this collection. And you can do that using dash D flag. So make sure you add the dash D flag like this. And once you have this flag added, you can simply provide the path of your file. So in my case, my data file is in downloads folder in the Postman folder, and it's named with data article. So I'm going to add that here. So it's named as data article.csv and I'm gonna hit enter and see what happens this time. There you go. So this time, if you notice, we ran total five iterations and over here I can see five requests were ran, all of the test scripts were ran and in this time, 10 assertion passed because I have two assertion in each request. So total 10 assertions passed over here. And if I scroll up, you can see all of that assertions as well as the request right here. So this is my fifth iteration, my status code, verify title and body, all of that works. Similarly, I can go to my first one as well and you can see all of that worked over here as well. So to be honest, that's pretty much how easy it is to go ahead and actually uh, run your CSV file using Postman or Newman CLI. So there's not much involved over here. Once you have your setup already done in Postman, which we covered in our previous video, all you need to do is just add in the dash T flag, which I'm gonna add over here. So this dash D flag and simply put in the path of your CSV file and then just run that and it will automatically pick up all of the data, the variables, and it's gonna pass that to your collection and it will figure out what to do. Essentially, when we run our collection through our Postman, it's doing kind of the same thing which we are doing it over here as well. So let's see how we can do it using the JSON file. That's not gonna be much different. It's gonna be exact same thing. So let's go ahead and still try it out. So I'm gonna remove this and clear it out. So my JSON file is over here, Recress. And if you remember, I have my test created over here as well, where I have my status code 201, and then I have verified data over here. And my entire body is over here, where I have all of those variables replaced with email, role, name, address, latitude, longitude. Now in this case, JSON file was a little bit complicated because we were dealing with nested data. So that's why it was a little bit different comparing to just working with 
CSV file. So to handle that, what we did in our JSON video was we created this prerequest script to do the mapping for us on making sure how that nested data would work. So in this case, I said name, address, company, latitude, longitude is gonna be mapped to all of this data right over here, which is basically the data that's part of my JSON file. Now, if you don't really understand what I'm talking about, once again, make sure to check out the video on importing JSON file using Postman, which I have covered uh, in detail on how all of these things work. All right, so assuming you already know what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and try to export this collection. So I'm gonna click on this three ellipses and do export and collection 2.1 is great. I'm gonna do export here. Similarly, the same folder, I'm gonna export it there. And then I'm gonna bring up my terminal again. All right, so we're gonna run through the same command. I'm gonna do Newman run. And this time my collection name is recress dot postman collection dot json so let me run this and see what we get back all right so we can see we have all the failures here it tried to execute one iteration because obviously it's only running that request um the status code 201 is working which is by default whatever you pass in that works but verify data is actually failing so the reason it's failing you can see here that it's saying expecting email to d equals undefined so obviously it doesn't really know about what email is, like what variable we're using here, what we need to verify it with, since it has no context of where our JSON file is. So to address this, we're gonna simply pass in the data file through the Newman command. So I'm gonna clear this. I'm gonna do the same thing, Newman run this collection. Then I'm gonna use the same dash T flag. And this time I'm gonna say use my data.json, which is right here. And if I hit enter this time, you can see it's trying to run eight iterations because I had total eight objects within my uh, JSON data. And you can see all of them passed right here, total 16 assertions because we had two assertions in each request and pretty much all of them passed. So now if I go back here, request uh, for the eight iteration worked, the status code is 200, verify data worked as well. Similarly, all the other ones passed here too. So that's it guys, there's not much difference over here doing it with CSV or doing it with JSON file. Pretty much the concept is same here. All you need to do is pass in the dash T flag and then specify where your file is, whether that's CSV or whether that's JSON. As long as you have everything set up in Postman, your Newman would know what it needs to do. In this case, even, even recognize that, okay, you have a pre-request script. So it figured this out. And by the way, how does it figure all of this out? That's because when you export your collection, within that collection, it has all of this information. That means what is in your body, what is in your pre-request script, what is in your test. So that collection has all that information and which is in kind of a JSON object, it knows all of these details. So when you try to run the collection, it essentially tries to run collection within whatever data that you're providing it with. For example, if you're running it with CSV file, it's gonna recognize that. If you're running it with JSON file, it's gonna recognize that as well. All right, so this was just a short video, but it was still important because at the end of the day, you will be running your test in CI where you will have to use Newman to run your test. So you need to understand how to import data file using Newman. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like me to create related to Postman. If you like this video and would like to support my work, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. And if you're looking to get started in your SDET career, be sure to check out the SDET Unicorns Academy where I've covered all of my courses and you get direct support from me wherever you get stuck during a learning experience. That's all for now guys. I will see you all in the next one.